In an earlier video, we discussed the different ventilation strategies like supply only and balanced ventilation. Now we're gonna dig into the differences between energy recovery ventilators or ERVs and heat recovery ventilators or HRVs. These two types of systems are similar, but there are key differences between them. Now, why is that important? While both ERVs and HRVs ventilate spaces, one key differentiator is installation. For example, an ERV can be installed in any orientation. You can install it in a ceiling or on the floor or on a wall. You can even install it upside down, right side up, or at a 45 degree angle if you really wanted to. However, HRVs must be installed upright because they have drain pans for the condensation that forms inside them. In addition, an HRV must go through an active defrost cycle in the wintertime, which can take 20 minutes of every hour. This takes one third of the ventilation potential within your space. During those periods, the amount of internally generated contaminants increases, which exposes your family to more harmful chemicals. So we talked about the installation potential, which makes it easier to install an ERV. In addition, an ERV can be installed in all climates. Whether you're in Anchorage, Alaska or Miami, Florida, an ERV is applicable. However, HRVs are limited to Nordic areas like Canada and the uppermost areas of the United States. An ERV optimizes energy, as we talked about before, both heat, which is sensible, and humidity, which is latent. This is unlike an HRV. So when we look at ERVs, they save more money because they humidify and dehumidify as compared to an HRV, which can only transfer heat. In addition, due to the drain pan, drain line, and more maintenance that's needed on an HRV, an ERV has a longer life and is easier to maintain.